Hollywood is mourning the death of David McCallum, who died at the age of 90. The beloved NCIS star passed away peacefully on Monday of natural causes surrounded by family at New York Presbyterian Hospital, CBS announced in a statement. Quote, we are deeply saddened by the passing of David McCallum and privileged that CBS was his home for so many years. David was a gifted actor and author and beloved by many around the world. He led an incredible life and his legacy will forever live on through his family and the countless hours of film and television that will never go away. We will miss his warmth and endearing sense of humor that lit up any room or soundstage he stepped onto, as well as the brilliant stories he often shared from a life well lived, the network wrote in part. David's son, Peter McCallum, also released a statement on behalf of the family, writing, quote, He was the kindest, coolest, most patient and loving father. He always put family before self. He looked forward to any chance to connect with his grandchildren and had a unique bond with each of them. He and his youngest grandson, White, nine, could often be found in the corner of a room at family parties having deep philosophical conversations. Peter wrote before sharing a sweet moment he recently shared with his mother, quote, after returning from the hospital to their apartment, I asked my mother if she was okay before she went to sleep. Her answer was simply, yes, but I do wish we had a chance to grow old together. She is 79 and dad just turned 90. The honesty in that emotion shows how vibrant their beautiful relationship and daily lives were and that somehow, even at 90, daddy never grew old. David is survived by his wife of 56 years, Catherine McCallum, his four kids and eight grandchildren. He was most known for his role as Donald Ducky Mallard on NCIS and his portrayal of Ilya Kirkcannon on The Man from UNCLE. Access Hollywood spoke to David about NCIS back in 2003, and he revealed what made the show so different. The greatest thing about it, we're very grateful to the JAG people to allowing us to take Cole to coattail into their, you know, on their spot particularly, but they have been wonderful and gracious. They're moving down to Friday. And, um, you know, JAG is a great show, and NCIS is totally different from JAG. It's a different thing altogether. Why? Well, because it's the investigative side. It, uh, NCIS is a real organization where civilians work for the Navy Department, whereas JAG is part of the Navy, so it, it's different. Do you guys ever, you know, laugh or marvel when you look at a schedule of how many initials are at the end of shows well, these is, days? It is CBS. So. I mean, how many, if we all, if we, if we tried, we could probably come up with, I mean, 20, there's... But we didn't come up with ours. I like the... Ours you know, really exist. The acronym for Access Hollywood is, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. Don Belisario, you know, I've um, been a fan of his since Rockford Files, and um, I'm here because of that, and, and the truth is, Paulie's name and David's name, they were both attached when I first saw the script, so uh, most of these people were all here before me.